Hello everybody, Venom Lane here and welcome to the second episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alright guys, so I had a tough day at work today, you know, sometimes it do be like that, huh? You, you, you know the deal, you know the deal. And uh, yeah, basically I'm kind of tired a bit, also like because I rushed the first episode uh, you know, in a night, like I recorded it and then I rushed to edit it and then I stayed awake until like 2 a.m. to, you know, being able to upload it on YouTube. I'm kind of tired. I've, I've been feeling kind of like meh all day long, you know, but uh, I'm recording now because uh, Cyberpunk is what I want to play, right? So I was like, yeah, I'm going to record it. Yeah, why not? Like, I'm not super high energy, but who knows? Maybe that will come with the excitement of that game. It's going to make me feel better anyway. Okay, so... We were right here uh, before going home. I had just gained a level. So I'm gonna open that and, uh, you know, check what the system is. Okay, so I got one attribute point and one perk point. Okay, attribute is for my main attributes and that governs the maximum uh, something related to skills or anything, if I remember that first part correctly. Okay. Uh... Oh, I got subdivisions. Athletics. What's that? Holy shit, that's a lot of... That's a lot of options for only athletics. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna take the start of this episode to just check a bit the different trees and everything, because I'm a huge fan of character builds. You know, that's that, I think that's why I'm playing like Skyrim, Fallout, Oblivion, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas so goddamn much. There's multiple builds that you can do, and I like just restarting a new game every 10 hours and just trying out something different, right? And by the way, guys, there's a little game called Witcher 3. Uh, I'm sure you, uh, you never heard of it. That's gonna surprise you guys a bit, but I never finished it. I've played the game for a while, well, for a while, maybe, maybe like 20 hours or so, and I ended up uh, stopping playing because basically there's one thing that I did not like in Witcher 3, and it was the, the, prog the character progression system. I wasn't that much of a fan of the combat, it was serviceable, it was fine, but I found that you never unlocked anything that changes the gameplay in a meaningful way. So after 20 hours, I just got bored of the actual gameplay. Um, everything about it, though, was great. You know, like, I don't deny that it's a great game, but the 20 hours that I spent with it was pretty fun, though. Amazing quests in that game, obviously, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm really curious about Cyberpunk and its uh, progression system because uh, that's make or break for me, dog. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so let's take a look, right? Uh, increase max health, okay. That's okay, but that's boring. Health slowly regenerates during combat. That's cool. That's cool. Increase max stamina by 10%. That also is boring. Increase carrying capacity by 60. Oh, we have carrying capacity. Interesting. Uh, and by the way, guys, when I say like, oh, something is boring, in character progression systems, every ability that you unlock that is just like an increase of a number is really boring to me. I really like like acquiring skills, right? You know, like, oh, now, I don't know, if I perfect block, I can do X, Y, or Z. Like that's really, really satisfying to me. Um, and I understand that not all skill upgrades uh, can be something exciting. It's totally fine to have like some number increases sometimes, but uh, I feel like in The Witcher, it was basically all that you could do and you never gain anything cool. So yeah. Allows you to reload weapons while sprinting, sliding, and vaulting. That is neat. Uh, reducing damage, increasing armor. Enemies cannot knock you down. Dodging does not drain stamina. Allows you to shoot while sprinting. Okay. And that's only one of the three skills attributed to attribute. Allocated to body. Okay. Let's see annihilation. Uh, reduces recoil of shotguns. More damage with uh, SMGs and shotguns, okay. You deal more damage the faster you're moving. That is interesting, okay. Entering combat, your movement speed increases by 20% for 10 seconds. Okay, so we got a nice mix there of uh, seemingly like, you know, number increases and uh, contextual skills, which is pretty interesting. Weapon spread does not increase while moving, okay. And then we got Street Brawler. Increasing strong attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Increased combo attacks. So for reflexes, we got end guns and I leveled that. What does that mean though? Oh, skill progression rewards. So I reached level two. So now I have, do I have that? Reduces the ADS time of your pistols and revolver by 20%. I think I acquired that naturally through using the end guns, right? Is that it? I think so. And we got 20 skill levels for the skill progression. Okay. Yeah, so they have a hybrid system. Ah, uh, that's, that's cool. To be honest, I really like that. Because there is something that I really like about the Elder Scrolls type of leveling. You know, like, the more you use your skills, the, the better you are at it. However, like... It's prone to uh, obvious exploits, you know, like if you have any school of magic that you can self cast spells on yourself, you're just questing and like you're moving in the city continually casting that spell on you and you're going to level. So I don't like that aspect of it, but it's pretty cool that it's kind of limited in its scope. Like it's not going to make me level and get those perk points, right? So Cyberpunk has a hybrid system that is pretty interesting. I can't wait to see how it will unfold uh, the more I progress through the game. So far though, I think that has a uh, potential to be very interesting. Hmm. So there's a lot of perks. There's a lot of choices too. I don't know what to pick, guys. I don't know what to pick. Uh, you know what? I cannot go wrong uh, with increasing my... Uh, assault because I like rifles a lot right if you've watched my halo playthroughs uh if I have a rifle I'm a happy boy you know so uh assault should probably be what I'm focusing on right increases rifle and some machine gun damage while aiming oh yeah bullseye I'm thinking trying to make an hybrid of assault and blades that would be pretty fun guys rifles to get some shots uh from a distance and if they get close I switch to the blade and wreck them I think that's what I'm gonna do all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and acquire this one. Uh, Bullet Jock increases damage with rifles and submachine guns by 3%. Pretty basic, but that's gonna come in handy. We leveled, we did it. Wait. Oh, I can still upgrade one of my main attributes. Right, 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 right. Each attribute has 20 levels also. Okay, so we can uh, bump that up. Uh, I'm gonna put it into reflexes, right? Yeah. It's going to increase my passive evasion, increase crit chance, and increase damage from Mantis Blades by three. What the hell are Mantis Blades? <gasps> are those the, the cool looking like uh, things, the blades that come out of your forearms that I've seen in the trailers and stuff? Ooh, I want one of these. Okay, I'm going to get that. And now we have six reflexes. All right, let's go home. Let's go chill. Try our new Meet the Light. Slaughterhouse. Power Pork. Daring Dairy. Real Water. <laughs> okay. Got some news. I'm curious to see uh, what the news are about. Hello, Night City. I'm Jillian Jordan with N54 News. And this is your local latest. Hello. The NCPD has urged caution when using data terms. A routine inspection has shown many have been corrupted with malware. Police experts have confirmed the identified virus can lead to cyberware. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and listen to her. But that's cool, though. Uh, that's all part of world building, right? And one thing that I think Cyberpunk 2077 uh, is going to do very well is the world building, right? Obviously. Like the city feels very much alive. Oh, we got a we got a call. T bug. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. Zip in my what? A job from T bug. The task T bug has given you is an important step on the path to. And the message is gone. <laughs> okay. I yes, probably some side quests, right? I don't know. So I live in the dump. Oh, can you buy apartments and stuff? Probably, right? That would make a lot of sense. Oh, stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some kind of scam. Alright. Yep. That's my apartment. I've seen that place in the small vignette at the beginning, the montage, when I met Jackie and everything. Oh, is that my computer? Got some whiskey there. I will take it. Thank you. 
Oh, I got messages. Mega Medicine Lottery. What? Penis Nano Gel Scam Alert. Oh. Uh, I don't like to read. But I'm gonna read that one. Warning, scam alert. Do not click on any emails with ads for a penis enlargement nano gel. This is a scam. Ordinary gels cannot stimulate new cell growth. The only tested and proven method for penis enhancement is still the irisex hormone treatment. Our scientists at Irsex have developed a formula that will dramatically increase the length and girth of your penis in only seven days. Join the thousands of other satisfied customers and order your kit today. I didn't believe it would work out, but I was desperate. I only had a week to get my penis big and I knew Mr. Stud wouldn't cut it. Fortunately, ear sex did the trick and I've still got the nail marks on my back to prove it. Thanks, ear sex. Richard Towers, real customer, verified penis growth. Wow. Can I, can I, can I buy some? I can look in the mirror. That is my character, all right. Oh, I can do some stuff. Smile. Oh, that's creepy. Scowl. Um, um, pout. Doesn't seem to be doing that much. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's changing. Gawk. Not sure what that is, to be honest. Oh, okay. I can take a shower? Don't mind me. So immersive, guys. So immersive. Is that the weapon stash? Oh, it is. Hello? Your stash is a secure system for storing equipment and can be accessed from all of your available safe houses and vehicles. So we can have multiple safe houses. Awesome. And the message disappeared. Fuck me, dude. And I can open the stash. All right. <gasps> I have a katana? Zero DPS? Why zero DPS, though? Oh, I got some jackets and everything. I'm taking everything, man. We got some grenades, too. Okay, I'm gonna store some revolvers, because I don't need them. I have a shotgun. Wait, I have a lot of weapons that I did not notice that I had. Double barrel shotgun. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm gonna equip a blade, a katana. Ah, uh, yeah. And I still have my rifle. Okay, I like this. So katana, shotgun, and rifle. Sounds good to me. I got a cap. I really like how the helmet handles the hair properly. That's cool. I dislike both of these hats, though. I got a coat. Wolf's cool jacket. Oh! Oh! Girls in leather coats. My weakness! Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, look at that. Oh, oh! With the Witcher insignia there. I see what you did, uh... See Project Red, I see what you did. We got some nice shoulder pads too, some spikes. Hell yeah, I'm keeping that. And I got this shirt that I will wear underneath. I like it. And I can wear something on my face too, probably masks and stuff. We got some uh, biker shoes too, that completes, that fits very well with the leather coat. I'm happy with that, that looks pretty badass boys. Okay, I have a cyber deck equipped too. Okay, so cyber decks are something you can equip. Right, and it has two base RAM. Okay, so I can upgrade my cyber decks to get more RAM and everything. Okay. I'm still not sure how all the systems work, but, you know, that's that's fine because it's a new game, so that makes sense. Also, I noticed in the last episode that I gained a street cred level. I'm not sure what that is, to be perfectly honest. And since we have a carrying capacity, I will just store everything else that I have not equipped yet. All right, and now let's head to bed. You, is that how you sleep? Why not put your head on the pillow? <laughs> Act 1. So that was a prologue, right? That makes sense. Makes sense. I got a call. Okay, Jackie, our boy. Look 
get your beauty sleep? <laughs> no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something. When I jacked into that Corpo's Biomon. I know a neurovirus. Oh. I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling in my System malfunction. Drive, okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads, meet me downstairs. There's a cold front moving in. Prepare for Okay. As we head into the weekend. Oh. I heard something. Oh, what's happening here? We got some scripted event going on here. Possibly. Okay. Why? You boys do your thing then. Uh. So my mission marker points there. N never mind, it points there. All right. It took a while to update, so I'm not sure what happened there. You blind? Hey, yo, B. How about a round or two? What do you say? Who said that? Oh, look at this place, man. We got a problem? No, I just want to loot, bro. Hey, yo, B. How about a round or two? Oh, sure. What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. <laughs> Curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so how about it? Ah, uh, you know what? Ah, uh, sure. How's it going? Fuck. Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch. Take notes. Malone versus Hernandez. Nah. Our Chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk neither. The only way he communicates is with them fists. Alright. Alright, sure, why not? Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Oh, I'm fighting the robot. Big punch. Okay, combo. You got one hell of a punch there, champ. Ever thought of monetizing it? That was easy. What do you say? I can get money by fighting. What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. Oh, he sells stuff. Oh, okay. Nothing too crazy, though. You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. Chipped? These fights. Let's just say they aren't leap, but very loot. Lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. Yeah. It's like I said. Good instinct. The fights happen in different parts of the city. Choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pump. Manage to drop every last one of them. You get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. All right, so we got our first side quest, I'm assuming, right? Uh, and also, it's pretty standard, uh, but I'm going to point it out for you guys. Uh, it makes sense, right? Because uh, we're on a critical path now that leads to the main quest, right? Like uh, going to see Jackie. And on our way there, this guy calls us. Like, he's hard to miss, right? Like, the lighting puts a huge spotlight on that whole ring. Everything is kind of like cramped. But this place, since it's a ring, you know, it's it's empty, so it draws the eye. And you have this guy is like, hey, come here. And then when you talk to him, eventually ends up giving you your first side quest. Uh, and I'm assuming that's a whole quest chain, right? Going to several different places in the city, participating in a fight, winning, and then the grand finale. And I'm assuming loot and money and all that good stuff. Second Amendment. Oh, my God. Hey, this sweet little 45 is waiting for its mommy. Purrs after every shot now. Nah, I'm good, bruh. 
I'm good. I got a katana, a shotgun, all that good stuff. Oh, I'm not tracking the. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, me. Okay. I was gonna say I'm not tracking the the side quest that I wanted. I got a message. Oh, a text. Okay. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Enjoy yourselves, Night City. After the break, cyber psychosis, myth or reality. Stay tuned. Can I exit? Oh, okay. I just had to walk in front. That was a bit awkward. Oh, what's that? NCPD scanner hustles. The NCPD will pay you to help fight crime. Okay. Fixers, these intermediaries will inform you about local gigs available. Uh, gigs, fixers will contact you when you approach a gig's location. So they are slowly opening up the world. It's also interesting that they haven't given me my car yet, right? They use the excuse of Jackie actually boring my car to prevent me from getting into it and exploring too quickly, you know? Because oftentimes you want to ease your player into the game, right? Even though it's an open world, you gotta start small a bit just to let the players be accustomed to the gameplays and everything. You need to tutorialize everything that you need to tutorialize and then you let the player go and have fun in the big city. So I'm assuming after that quest or even now I could just go wild and explore. Oh, hello. That looks good, man. There's a lot of people down here. <laughs> it took you long enough. Took up an appetite, just wait. Drop in on Senor Vector. Didn't figure you as the type for Asian. I thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Sit sirloin? Check. It's some more Chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. A G-O-B? I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. <laughs> what? 300 pounds of partly gold plated coup. Oh, sounds awesome. Oh, I got a street kid. Dialogue option. Very interesting. So your background can affect your dialogue options and stuff. That makes a lot of sense. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with a nasty crew in Pacifica, things got ugly. Mm hmm Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. A lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. It took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Yeah, this is our big break. Yeah, sure. This is it, Jackie. Our break. Dex needs friends, needs us. We can use him. Amen, Chica. It's a win-win. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but... Old deal's riding on you now, Chica. Mm, sounds like pressure to me. Why do I gotta go? Human T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back. And my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. That's sketchy as fuck right there. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a of his own. 
Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, B. So the fixers are basically quest givers, right? So we're gonna go and meet with a big shot. Oh. Yes, give me the keys. The key. Much appreciated. You can call your active vehicle to your current location with V. Let's do that. Top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Oh, and that's it. Yes. Okay. Can I drive now? Oh, hell yeah. First stop. Ripper Dock. Anchica. Easy on the gas, eh? Woo. I just ate. Do I need to follow the traffic lights? Stop by Vicks anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. I'm a, such a bad driver, man. Uh, okay, yeah, let's switch the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's give myself a chance here, okay? This is the century. This is the century. This oh, what's that, though? What's that blue thing? Hidden gems. While exploring Night City and the surrounding area, you may come across valuable containers with loot. They might be tricky to find, and the message disappeared. Fuck me, dude. What's that? What the? The fuck, girl? That that's an attire right there. God damn. Those cheeks. Uh, I cannot interact with that, so it's unavailable. Okay. Whatever. And here I am. All right. Do you mind? Oh, I need to go over there. Okay. But you are not the masters of your memories. For your eyes do not belong to you. It's pretty interesting. Oh, hello. Checking them out? Nah, Chuma mind needs to work here. That's all. Oh, yeah? The f city really feels alive. And when you bump into people, it stops you? Uh, yeah, okay, that was awkward. Oh, is that a crime scene? Oh, okay. So I'm gonna save, right? Okay, so I just saved. I'm gonna try to cross that police line. I'm assuming they will attack me if I do that, right? Let's try it. What's up, bros? That's a nice crime scene right there. Okay, police introduction. Any illegal activities such as theft or attacking civilians? That that is awkward, my dude. That that is an awkward pause. Will result in the NCPD placing a bounty on you. The police will send a patrol to the crime scene and the strength of their response will be proportional to the size of the bounty to lose the police, move away from the crime scene and lay low for a while. Uh, and we even got stars there, so it's basically exactly the same as Grand Theft Auto. Got it. The fuck you want? Uh, I want to sh slice you up. Hell yeah! I'm almost dead. I am dead. <laughs> okay. I was planning on reloading anyway. Like, there's no way I wanted to, you know, commit crime so overtly. But I, I just wanted to test the boundaries a bit. The world feels so dense, like there's a lot to see everywhere, you know? Alright, let's go and see the fixer. Hey, v. hey girl. Dr. Vector will see you now. You're uh you're hot. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Bro, she's mine. Come on, can I date her? Pleased. Cause I am. Always. Makes for easier living. But don't you worry. All right, where's the big boy? Down there. Ripper Doc. 
Though a common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure which can be performed by qualified specialists, Ripper Docs. There are several Ripper Docs operating throughout Night City who offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. Oh. Vicky's bright as ever, you old Ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, big. Oh, wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Yeah, figures, right? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. New tech that can perform. The Dex to Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Oh, I don't have any money to pay for that. That is sad. Keep Quick Ryan, Vic. I'll day. bring you the Eddies later with interest. You know I will. Okay, so Eddies is the money. Okay. Last time, you hear? Um, okay, you doing okay there? Oh. Sure, please. Sit down. He's got a lot of puncture marks too, so that's not the first time he's doing that. What am I gonna get installed though? Can I choose? I want the Mentis Blades thingy. Roshi optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Okay, I cannot choose. Is that a fucking eyeball? Yeah. Okay. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Peruse and choose. Oh, so I can choose. Okay. Cybernetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organic parts of your body. They can give you a superhuman-like abilities which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a common practice in 2077, the installation of cyberware is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedures only spe yeah, yeah, you told me that already, my boy. Ooh. Okay, so I can choose either an ocular system or a hands system. I still uh, okay so I got the OS there that is probably like installed on my brain or something yeah across my old body mm, okay let's see what we got here ballistic coprocessor increases the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons directly links the user's optical implant to the weapon system offering real time data tracking not sure exactly what that means to be Perfectly honest. And the accurate system we got Ki Kiroshi Optics. Enhance your vision. Empty cyberware mod slot. You know what? That sounds better. So I'm going to take that. Uh, cyberware you're acquiring in the world can be installed or sold at any Ripper dock. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I just installed it. That was it. All right. Oh, I can have both of these upgrades. Okay. Well, I'll take them both then. Goddamn. Mark one, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm, this should do the trick. Talks to Kiroshi Tech too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Yeah. I don't like that. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. 
That's kind of like getting tattooed, though. Thanks. Which uh, fucking hurts, by the way. A bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Everybody that that has been tattooed is like, eh, it's not that bad. Feel anything? No, bro. It fucking sucks. Play by play, though. Really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist, always going on and on. Huh. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Yeah. Eh. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast. Oh, that's my eye. Pitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, wow, this is fantastic, Vic. Is it? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Uh, scanning people with your optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information such as how strong an enemy might be, who is their crew, what type of weapon they use. As a skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. That makes a lot of sense. Of scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. Okay. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool though. Database of wanted persons. A database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanner since there are since all are wanted, dead or alive, the methods you use to claim your reward are entirely up to you. Oh, that's fun. That is fun. That's gonna be cool. Probably. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Oh, so we do have ammo. Yeah, we do have bullets. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Okay. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And I will do, my man. Please. Don't forget where you came from. What's taking so long? Move your ass. Pet? I found a cat! Where's the cat? I see the prompt. Oh, I don't like him. I can pet him, though. I will. I will pet him. That's it, boys. Roll the credits. I'm done here. I'm satisfied. My $90 uh, were well spent. I'm satisfied. I can leave now. It's fine. It's fine. I'm done. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you. But you oh, she got to fishnets, too. Energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. All right, let's go. Oh, I got a call too. All right. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. He's a cop. Yeah, go girl. I... Uh, is that it? There are people who say okay. cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. 
If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Uh, sure, girl. Incapacitating enemies. Uh, there are various ways to incapacitate enemies without qu killing them. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't really care. But uh, okay. What the hell is happening? Can I join? Hostile situations. Okay, that's a that's a racketeer. Bounty class. She has a bounty. Oh, let's try to collect. Let's try to collect, boys. Oh! Street cred. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. All right. All right, I helped the cops. Is that good? I got some street cred. Hey, what do you think, boys? Hey, don't distract me. Fuck you too. All right, fuck the cops. Ah, uh, that's an SMG. And what? 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 Ricochet weapons. Power weapons allow you to control the direction of bullet ricochets if you have ballistic co-processor cyberware and the trajectory generator mod for Kiroshi optics installed. That was a very hard sentence to say out loud, by the way. And then, okay, so that that's so cool. A power weapon. Is that a power weapon? I'm going to equip the SMG there. Is that a power weapon? Power submachine gun. Power assault rifle. Okay. Uh, I want to test it out a bit. It's alright. It's alright. I looted some sunglasses, so uh, I'm curious. What do you think, boys? I'm thinking it's a no. It doesn't fit my character. It makes her look like a, an agent too much, right? She she looks too uh, too legit. She she's a street punk, you know. She needs to look like a yeah, like a like a I, I don't know. Why am I not wearing my jacket anymore though? I picked up a new one. Ooh, okay. I still prefer the leather jacket though. All right, excuse me, Dex. There was some uh, shooting, and I couldn't help myself, you know. That's a lot of smoke. Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's roll. Kind of rude, girl. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? Uh, okay, live fast, die young, right? Um... You're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. No. See, in my line no of work, way. I choose Sorry, to be Mr. I, I I, no. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right. Okay. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. And sees Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Miss V? 
High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. We understand each other. I'm sure that's gonna work well. You work right? this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much the you. This is sketchy, but okay. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Uh, okay. That's gonna give me the info that I need, I'm assuming. I've got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. Oh. I need, need that bit of high grade military tech. Okay. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Hmm. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. The problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. That's a problem. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstorm, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Okay. This is a prima donna. Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Okay, interesting. So I'm assuming the new leader of the the gang is not gonna give uh, Deshaun what he needs, right? That, that That's a mission set up if I've ever seen one. And also, there's a corpo girl trying to locate what he wants to buy, too. Okay, so that's gonna be a bumpy one for sure, right? Oh, I can skip right. Yeah, let's do that. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Hmm. I think I'm gonna choose uh, the blaze of glory. If you know what I mean. Alright. I leveled up. I leveled up. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his base. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right. Heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. Well, that sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. I 
he must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Uh, interesting. So, I think what would be the best be thing? Hey, shut up, I'm making a last play. So, obviously, both of them will come in at one point, right? Um, uh, let's start with Maelstrom. Why not? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. Mm-hmm. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Step around. Hasta luego. All right, so I got a quest called Militech Agent Meredith Stout, and that's optional. I have to meet with Jackie really far from here, actually. Miss V, I just want to remind you, I got a text message. Uh, okay, thanks for the info, bro. He paid uh, Maelstrom. Partners. That makes sense. All right, guys. Uh, unfortunately, that's all the time that I have today. Uh, yeah, I'm really afraid that the game's really too slow paced a bit for a let's play i don't know uh, i don't know if you guys enjoy it or not uh, i'm having a lot of fun though i don't mind slower paced games at all uh especially like big open world rpgs like that i just feel like a bit kind of bad because like it's kind of slow i basically only got into like a minute long gunfight in that more than an hour long uh, recording that i've done there so uh, yeah i don't know how good that is uh in a let's play format probably better to stream and everything but uh yeah that's gonna be it for today guys don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of cyberpunk 2077 have a good one